Right, thank you for tuning back in. Um, so I thought I'd do a little recap on, so I think it's about five, six months since my last video of the John Lofgram engineer boots. Um, just thought I'd show you how I got on with them. Fortunately, it hasn't been the best for me. Uh, I still think they are the nicest boots out there. I think I messed up the size a little bit. When I tried them on in my last review, they did feel snug, but I thought, no, dude, these are gonna give and you know have a bit more space once they wear in like most engineer boots do for some reason i've worn these religiously i've even taken them to the local cobbler had them a little bit stretched um just slightly like just to just to break them in a little bit it hasn't really changed the size at all um but yeah so i just thought i'd recap with you for people out there that are about to spend 800 pound on a pair of boots uh, my experience but this is you know this is not everyone's um, you know, everyone's different feet, so you know some people. Because I've had people tell me about my uh, two nine six six Red Wings, saying, "Oh no, you've got to go for this size, that size," and it was complete opposite to my experience. So um, yeah, I think you got to judge it yourself, and sometimes making that judgment is expensive. So I've got them on right now. Um, so let me just show you one sec. So yeah, as you can see, I'm wearing them. Um, I've put them on for this video. Um, I am about to put these up for sale on eBay for a fraction of the price. Um, but it's just it's just around here. You know, they they feel great when I'm sitting here doing nothing. They don't feel like an issue. Very comfy still. But then as soon as I start walking, it's here. It's around there, down there, and then it just it, it seems like my feet go forward too much. Things like they slip a little bit forward which is just when I'm walking, you can just feel that little bit on this, it's just around here on this toe here and these sides and literally after an hour of wearing them, it's killing me. And as a few of you know, I'm not new to engineer boots. Uh, I thought I'd bring this pair along to compare them. Um, very similar pair, a very fraction of the price. Got these on eBay for about 80 pound. Um, these are the Chippewa boots. Um, it's a non-steel toe cap version hard to come by actually the non-steel ones but you can see that the quality is not there nowhere near John Lofgram you know we've got the shiny buckles here we've got brass buckles far nicer everything about these I've had to use mink oil on these to make them a little bit darker um compared to JLs they just come standard should I have gone for an 8.5 um so yeah they are very I thought they would definitely stretch a little bit more than that. But the way they've worn in, I, I, it looks wise, look flawless. And it's a shame really, because I have to go through all this again. So yeah, so yeah, last thoughts, incredible boots, beautiful pair, but fortunately hasn't been for me this time. And uh, yeah, it feels like a, a lot of money I've spent brand new i wish i did find these on the second hand market but i carried on looking so luckily someone out there is going to uh find this pair and for a lot cheaper i'll probably be putting up for like 650 on ebay and i think uh, i think they should go up for more really considering i've gone through the hard bit of breaking them in um but yeah definitely the coolest boot out there still by far unfortunately not for me but thank you for watching um i will be doing more videos reviewing more shoes um and you know talking about my bike projects if you'd like to see them go on to my instagram page that's black heart so social that is h-e-r-t-s for hearts from half shit where i'm from um so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed the review please leave your comments and subscribe to my page so we can get some more stuff done. Thank you. Oh, little recap on what I'm wearing. I've got the Warehouse & Co t-shirt um, and I've got a pair of Dickies trousers on today. So, and then a very vintage, boxy Harley Davidson baseball cap. So yeah, cheers.